Leo's. Let's go it all out there, Leo's. Career reading for y'all, all right? Three card draw. The career situation at hand, how you view it, how you perceive it to be. Then a card to see what should be considered in relation to that situation. Hope y'all are feeling great out there. If you're not just yet, you'll get you'll get there. I'm confident you will get there. Um, but with no further ado, let's shuffle this one more time, one more again. Slice and dice the didac. We're going to get to what you heard. So, Leo's, this is the situation at hand. It looks like a three of wands in reverse. Yes, it is. You're going back to your roots. See, this could be that you're going back to some, like, family roots as well. And at this, my, I'm getting that this is not a location, though. You may be already stationed where your family is and you're realizing that I think you're having an ego death, Leo, in this belief that you got to do everything on your own. You got to do everything by yourself. I think you've come to a strong realization that that is not the way to go right now, especially during this winter season. The sun ain't sunning like the sun usually suns, if you get what I'm saying. So this actually presents an opportunity for you to embody this in a healthy way because it's you getting to the root of you. Pause. But you being able to deal with yourself in a way that is comfortable enough to communicate that with the people or the person that is in your immediate vicinity. And this is career-based. This is career-related. Um, allowing this, surrendering, is actually good for you. It's healthy for you. It's not a sign of weakness. It's really not. I think your parents or parent is involved in this somehow. To where they have good guidance for you. It's positive guidance from parental figures at this time for you, Leos. And I don't think you were so sold on this before. But now is the time that you are. Now is when you're starting to see it for what it is. Um, you can feel a sense of uncomfortability right now because the sun just stationed in Aquarius that's your opposite sign so although it's like I was saying it's not all about you this is even a stronger confirmation of that it isn't because of the sun being in your opposite sign and it deals with other people And I think that you're realizing that there's a pot of gold over the rainbow. I tell people to look at oppositions like rainbows when they can. Anyway, I'm not saying to lose your identity, but look at it as that being that uncomfortable. Should you be able to weather that journey to deal with that other side? It's a pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow. But let's see how you perceive it. The world in reverse. Sure is. I just got this for forgot whose reading it was already but oh for the Virgo for the previous reading um so you're looking at it this is a sobering truth Leo I think I'm gonna put that in the title too a sobering truth for Leo realizing that a lack of success well for there's some stagnation going on right now but I just explained to y'all why there's some stagnation going on. The sun ain't sunning like the sun usually suns, and that's okay. There's a time for everything, Leo. 
don't think that you have to be on all the time. You know what I mean? You can save yourself a lot of heartache, pain, and relief of stress, especially during this time. You're acknowledging the lack of your success. You're acknowledging that there's some stagnation and you haven't achieved all of the things that you want to achieve, but in a healthy way. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that you suck at what you're doing, pause. It doesn't mean that you're whack, that you just got whack juice, pause. It just it doesn't mean that. It just means that you're in a process. You're still processing. In this immediate time, you're really processing the information of who you choose to pair yourself with in order to bring these things forward. Because again, like we said in the initial card, it's not always all about you. And let's say it is, right? Because that's really far-fetched thing to say to Leo's. <laughs> but even then, somebody's going to help you get to what you, where you need to be and who you need to be, Leo. At least to your standard. So now you're like, ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I can use some strategy too. I can use some help. So you're looking at your immediate vicinity. Because when the world is in reverse, it's like the world is on pause. And, you know, the, the, the world could be your stage, Leo. But this is actually providing you time to sit with yourself and determine who the relationships. I'm really getting one profound relationship that you're looking at right now. Again, I was talking about parental figures in this card. So it could be that. So, you know what? Let me ground myself and get rooted in the someone that can have a uh, responsible authority persona. This is a Saturn card. And this is a resource, a relationship that you already have. This is an I have chakra. So this isn't, this isn't someone that you have to go looking for. They're already there. And you see this and you know this and you feel like Okay, well, the world should continue to wait while I get this together because it needs to be gotten together. Let me see something else. This um, Once you get this foundational support system in place, there's going to be more people that enter your circle, your circle for success and achievement in your career. Let's see the factor that you should consider. And that's how you see it. So that's a good thing. Kudos to y'all Leos for being able to perceive it that way. The factor that y'all need to consider is that. Yeah, like this tightening and restricting of actually dealing with other people is letting you see the reality of things. And it could be strongly family related. Again, it could be it could be making you see like family really got your back these is one this is one of those scenarios and i haven't i can't even recall a reading that i've done recently where that has been shown but here that's what i'm getting that you're actually able to let go this is an opportunity for you to let go of old things that just were not working and with those old things could be a community of people or communicating with some people that are just not adding on to the seriousness of what it is that you're trying to do. It could be something dealing with leisure time, too much leisure time in, in a particular area where you need to obtain career success. You get what I'm saying? So you may have to mitigate the leisure times, you know, Leo rules over that in order to swap those times for something that is more engaging with your career something that's going to set you up for the long term not the immediate instant gratification that comes with being with your friends and going out having a couple of drinks whatever your thing is you understand what i'm saying while also turning back the dial on having fun and going to events and stuff like that you'll be saving money in the process it might not look like it because you're not going to be making a whole ton of money during this particular time, but being able to hold on to what you have because you're not spending it as much is can also provide a feeling that you're doing the correct thing. 